My name is Kyle Diadorale. I'm a mathematics teacher at Imagbo Imaka Comprehensive High School. I'm also an ICT uh, instructor, or let me say ICT teacher. Uh, I'm a teacher with career objective that I said uh, to contribute and be at the forefront of transforming education in Nigeria. In the year 2020, I was the best senior secondary school teacher in Ogo State, rewarded with 2.5 million naira by uh, His Excellency Prince Tapabiodo, MFR. In 2021, uh, I was the outstanding youth in Ogun State by the National Youth Council of Nigeria, Ogun State. In 2022, uh, I was the Ogun State champion for the Martina Teachers of the Year and also one of the top 10 in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In 2023, I was the second runner-up best teacher uh, in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, that same year, I was so opportune to join other 151 teachers across the globe uh, in a program that we call Fulbright Teaching Excellence and Achievement Program, a program organized by U.S. Department of State with the funding provided by U.S. government, meaning I'm one of the teachers uh, that enjoy that $23,000 provided by U.S. government for the Fulbright Teaching Excellence and Achievement Program. In 2024, I was opportune again uh, to got selected for the Limitless Educator Program uh, organized by Limitless Space Institute in Houston, Texas, with the money, with the funding provided by IHS Towers of Strength. And by God's grace today, I'm one of the top 50 finalists for the Global Teacher Prize. I feel, I feel elated. Uh, I feel on top of the world because this is what I've been applying for for the past three edition now, and I've never got to this. And uh, you know, one thing that interests me most about Global Teacher Prize is that my name will be published on Wikipedia. That's one of the most interesting things. And that's, that has been the reason why, because I, I was once, you know, trying to put my profile on Wikipedia and I could see that it's not, you know, they, they are not accepting it, possibly because, I have, uh, uh, possibly because they see me as ordinary teacher. But I so much believe if I, if I get to that stage, because I've seen many uh, past uh, finalists of the Global Teacher Prize story published on Wikipedia or their profile there on Wikipedia. So I so much believe is another way, is another shortcut for my name to get to that stage. And that, is, that can only happen to uh, a dedicated teacher or somebody who takes that profession uh, as, a, as his own profession, who sees it as a call. So I thank God today because I know very soon, once the announcement is made, I don't need to pay Wikipedia before my story will be published. I don't need to, uh, to pay, uh, what is it called, CNN before my story will get to CNN. Of course, here I am in Vanguard. And of course, I know my story will be published there without giving them any, any penny. Like I told people, in the year 2019, the first Nigerian to get to the top 50 Global Teacher Prize was Ayodele Odeogbola, who happened to be one of my mentors. In 2019, it was Sojime Bonwo. In 2020, it was Sukomi Olasukomi Okwefa. In 2021, it was Adeola Adefemi and then uh, Olushegun Adeniyi. In 2022, uh, stroke 2023, it was Dr. Peace and then uh, Stephen that got here. So all these people, I was watching the way the something is going. I know these are the dedicated teacher, and I know it will get to my turn. So while I was applying for this last one, I'm so optimistic that, uh, uh, that I would definitely be selected as one of the top 50 because I could look around and see that almost all the teachers that I could say, oh, this one are, this one are teachers that are already ahead of me they are all been selected uh, as one of the top 50. So of course, this time around, my application will definitely skate through. But the only thing, you know, of course, I'm a woman being, sometimes you may be somehow pessimistic that, ha, with all the teachers in Nigeria, over 2 million teachers in Nigeria, ha, and they need just one or two teachers to be selected. But because at initial stage, I was not really feeling comfortable applying for that thing again, because I'm looking at it that if I apply and I'm not selected this time around, I'm not going to apply again. Uh, definitely that means it's not, uh, it's not, uh, I'm not destined to be among the top 50 teachers in the world. Of course, that's not the first time I will be selected as a rank among top, 50, uh, top teachers in the country. I was once ranked as one of the top 20 STEM educators across the globe that allowed me to go to, uh, to Houston, Texas in 2024. So my application this time around, uh, I'm somehow, you know, optimistic that it's going to come out uh, in a flying color. So, uh, and of course, the stage I am, I'm still 
I still have that belief that I will definitely be selected as one of the top 10 and by God's grace, I will be the first Nigerian teacher to bring that trophy to Nigeria as a global teacher prize and even in the, the whole of West African uh, as a whole. I got inspired about the subject mathematics why I was growing up as a boy in my town. There was a particular program that inspired me to have interest in mathematics. That program, I couldn't remember that station, either OGTV or LTV. But I knew we normally watch that TV program, that mathematics online TV program then, back then. There was this young man teaching, I think he should be around the age of uh, 30 something, 35, 36. So that is teaching that mathematics and I so much love that program. Anytime they want to do the program, I have interest, always have that, uh, that interest to go and watch that program and make sure I just something down. Uh, this same man, you know, inspired me to have interest in mathematics. And that same thing that happened to that man happened to me probably at the age of 35 or 36 when I appear on television for the first time in my life to teach mathematics. So really what really inspired me to have interest in mathematics is that mathematics uh, program that I watch on television then because the man, you know, always break down some of the, com uh, some of the, some of the complex uh, topics in mathematics that even some of my teacher can sometimes when they teach it in the class it's not because you also make use of uh, some you know instructional aids during that television program then another thing you know talking about that what inspired me to love that mathematics then what really made me to go into the teaching of that subject in Ijebu was that there was a day in the class of course you know i've said i'm a content curator and I got inspired in curating content as a result of the platform Ogun State Government provided for us in during COVID-19. That, that was Ogun Digi class. I happened to be one of the 20, first set of 20 teachers that participated in Ogun Digi class. I was one of the teachers that teach mathematics on Ogun Digi class. So after we finished Ogun Digi class, you know, I, I looked for a way to complement the effort of state government and I created my own YouTube channel that I call Adewale Kayo, the online class. So in doing that, already I know how to create content. But there was a scenario that happened in my class on that day. I was trying to explain some concept to students in my class in mathematics class, and this student did not get it. And I was trying to use all different, you know, all different style method to explain to just try to communicate my idea to the student, and they couldn't get it. And one of the students was like, "Hey, she laji garem, so he speak in the dialect. Hey, she laji garem, so laji gar simply mean a." a a, what is it called? A rubber pin, something you can use to fetch water. And I was describing cylinder for them. I said, Yes, Laji Gari Momso, Laji Gari Dibi Duromu, Redibi Korodomu. And he said, Yes. And that guy, that guy on that day, the excitement on the on the on the other on the on the part of the student was very high. As if seeing a teacher speaking the local dialect with them. And ever since then, I now see, oh, this is exactly what the students want. They want me to be speaking the local dialect with them to explain, to break down some, you know, complex terms in mathematics to them. And ever since then, I always use that and they always fell in love. So and as a content creator, I said, let me take advantage of this to create content in my local dialect since this is what the students want. So I come online and I do that. And the very first content I created on that, they got over 100 share, meaning it's almost like 30,000 views. And I was like, so people actually, they're actually looking for a content in a local language that could break down mathematical concepts. And that was how I, you know, pick up, uh, where, that was how I take it up upon myself as a call to start creating content in Ijebu since 2022. And I tag my, my idea as what I call culturally relevant pedagogy. Culturally relevant pedagogy. Uh, it goes in line with the ideology of uh, Ali Baba, Baba Tunde Fafungwa. That's ba, uh, Baba Tunde Fafungwa. That was the first Minister of Education of, uh, of Education in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, that is talking about teaching the children in the modern tongue. So my culturally relevant pedagogy happened to be something when you use, when you cite an example of what the student can see around them as one of the instructional aids, you know, to break down some complex, especially in the STEM. So these are some of those things that inspire me to start curating co uh, content in Ijebu language. And of course, I belong to some of these uh, Ijebu forums uh, that I also draw my inspiration from. Angu, 
ati mi wo lo ati wo so ni anyway a ma wo ka ka won ri fo si re na ha ati yiwe ki tu mo re si yen ohun awon le ibo npe ni kosi ake mi wo anguru tita to ma je kosi tita ha re na ohun ri aja senti iwe re ke gbere ki re ni bere ohun ri hypotenuse apa re guju ninu triangle iya tu mo re fo ka o tu mo ri konsi tita o ma je aja senti noruwo hypotenuse ko fe ra video re ti pe ka fu sowo ro mojebu i must tell you this that it was this same language that i used that won me uh third best teacher in the federal republic of nigeria because during the interview for the presidential teacher i was asked is there any innovation you have brought into the teaching of mathematics? And I te tell them that one of the innovations I brought into the teaching of mathematics is teaching the subject in our local language. And I happen to be the first Nigerian teacher to do that. Others that have been doing it, some have been doing it in Yoruba, but I happen to be the first one that do it in an indigenous language. And by God's grace, very soon I'm going to go, uh, go around to go about registering this on intellectual property so that another person will not come back and steal my idea. So, to register to the whole world that I happen to be the first Nigerian teacher, you know, to teach that subject in the, in the, in the local language. For instance, I want to explain, I want to, I want to tell you that I want to multiply 12 multiplied by 11. Frank Perenoy, Kim Makoni, Yoni, Uso, Nomba, Di Yeye, Boya, Maso, Eji, La, Di Yeye, Nono, Mokola, Shim, Maye, Ga, Okon, Ye, Rotun, Kim, Maye, Ga, Eji, Ye, Eji, Ye, Rosi, Kim, Ro, Okon, Meji, We, Mo, Yen, Ade, Eta, Kim, Meta, Ye, Ra, Ni, Meji, Ado, Okon, Eta, At, Eji, uh, in your own one for 130, uh, 130 yen. In your little in Boko, my coiler, a Yboro man for coiler, she won't keep me shall I rain, Uja Burimo for shall I rain. In your tomorrow for Ushiro Leo, co moko, co smoke or moko, I did you, co maji maji, I dare, co man and man, I dare your co major major, I dare the nugu, co man and the nugu, man and the nugu, I di, aged the no bon. Eh, on one rich room, Michel. Shushiro magical world, your cope, pere, pere, papa, you look over to Mokoshi What I've just said is that, uh, you see, explaining those uh, difficult complex uh, 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 a community where their primary language is uh, is Ijebu. like in Ogun Waterside. Now there are some areas in Ogun Waterside that if you go there and start blowing grammar, you are just wasting your time. There are some there are some areas in uh, in Enyoshun that if you go there and start blowing grammar, you are just wasting your time. You have to come down to their level to make sure that those concepts they really get it. And for instance, now I come into the class and I want to talk about business mathematics, and I started talking about dollar. Started talking about pounds that these children they, they were not aware of dollar. The only thing they know is that they know five naira, they know ten naira, they know twenty naira. They didn't know hundred dollar. So you have to use the indigenous indigenous language to explain this concept for them. My advice to the students: don't be discouraged. Uh, I'm going to give the student advice. I also send a kind of signal to my fellow educator, especially this time around that I'm now uh, an education ambassador. Is that in the years two thousand and 2001, when I was about writing my SSC exam, there was an undergraduate student in Olabison Ojanjo that called me and asked me some questions. When he asked me that question, he was asking me about three questions. I was unable to provide an answer to that three questions. And he said, have they paid for your SSC? And I said, yes. He said, ha, they have made a big mistake. They should have used the money they used to pay for my SSC to buy a paint and use it to paint our house. Just because he asked me a single question. And that word challenged me on that day. I didn't allow that word to weigh me down. I told him on that day that, sir, this word is a very, it's a derogative statement to me. And I'm going to build on it. And I, will, I, I want you to go, I, I go out and be, and be wash, uh, go ahead and wash out for me. That in the nearest future, this word will turn to become a, 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 a driving force. And inspire a word that will not uh, that I will not allow the word to weigh me down, but rather be an inspiring word to me because this is a big challenge. And by God's grace, today uh, I think my parents uh, they are proud of me today, uh, taking them to the doorstep of the uh, of His Excellency 
uh, Prince Dapabiodun, the executive governor of Ogun State, uh, for the first time in their life, because I'm sure they've never been to such place in their life. And I pray by God's grace, my own children too will take me to a higher place. Then to my fellow colleagues, never look down on any student. Because if you look down on student, uh, today I'm talking about Mr. Shegun Gutimei, who happened to be my class teacher when I was in secondary school. Tomorrow, you don't know what your children, what the children or the student you are taking today will become in the nearest future. So I would advise, give your best to the profession. Look at those children as your own children because they can get to anywhere in the world.